Linda Israel here. The scent of the day is Pink Champagne from JIC. These are soy wax melts and candles. They're available in my JIC store. Check out my description box below for a link. Thank you for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. Today I have the Calico Collage Fairy Forest digital sheet. I've already cut up a few of the images here. And I am going to make an altered piece of art by using a cork. So we save the corks whenever we have wine or if my friends remember they save corks and give them to me so I can make art out of them. And today I'm going to turn this one into a piece of art. I've got my Brutus Monroe detail ink and what I'm going to do is I've trimmed these images to be just a perfect size top and bottom wise to the cork and then I'm going to wrap these around. I've left a little bit of an edge here so that I can adhere each one to it, the next one. But what I want to do is these edges are raw and have white on them and I want to color them. So I'm going to use the Brutus Monroe Detail ink to put a little color on that edge. I'm going to do that to all three of these pieces. I've got some Aline's Tacky Glue and what I'm going to do is just place a little bit of glue on this white edge which will end up being glued behind my next image. So I'm just going to slightly overlap the first image to the second. So you can kind of see that those overlap just a slight amount there. You can see how they are on the back as well. And then I'll place glue on this side as well. And I'll overlap these as well. And I'm just going to check my cork for fit. So I should be able to wrap this around and then this piece should go over that piece. That's almost perfect right there. So it covers that show. It should come right to that edge. But just in case I have a little bit of a gap, I'm going to take the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink and just go over that edge just a slight amount. That way I don't have to worry did any of that white paper peek through because you won't be able to see it. All right, I've got some diamond glaze here. And what I'm going to do is make a little bead of diamond glaze on the cork and then I'm just spreading it out just a little bit with the back of the paper and then I'm going to lay down the paper and then roll this around and overlap it. Now I may need a little bit more glue right here, so I'm just going to put a little dollop of time and glaze and run it down using the nozzle. And then I'll smooth it with my fingers. Like so. So now we've got a little fairy images and a little saying all the way around the cork. Now I'm going to take the diamond glaze and don't shake it because you don't want bubbles and I'm going to add diamond glaze to this image. I'm just going to go all the way around. I'm using the nozzle and if I need to I have a paintbrush out that I can use to help spread the diamond glaze. I 
I have diamond glaze all the way around and what I'm doing now is I'm just turning it back and forth a couple of times to help the glaze even out into an even amount. I've got a pointy tool here and what I found is if I put it on something that I can lay sideways and kind of rotate it for just a moment then it'll help that diamond glaze to smooth out a little bit and it takes about a minute or two and then once I'm pretty sure that there's not going to be any more running or dripping I'll just set it up on its end and let it air dry and it may take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to air dry. And you just want to set this aside to dry for a few minutes. You don't want it to be bumped or for things to fall in it. So set it someplace safe where you don't have to worry about it getting damaged. I've already made one earlier. So I went ahead and this has already been coated with the diamond glaze. Now you can choose to put multiple coats if you want, but you will have to wait for each one to dry. If you try to heat this, it will bubble up. So it's a neat effect if you want that bubbly effect, but it's best to let this air dry naturally. What I've got here is a piece of wire, and it is from the jewelry craft making section it's a 16 gauge wire and what i want to do is make a little loop i've made one for the bottom but i want to make one for the top as well so that this could be hung as a necklace it could also be used as a pull for your ceiling fan there's a lot of different ways that you could use this so i've got a round nose plier and what i'm going to do is take this wire and bend it around my pliers and then I am just twisting. You can use your fingers or if you have another pair of pliers, you can twist it that way. So just make a little twisty piece. I don't need all of this in here. So I'm just gonna take some wire cutters and cut this off. You want it to fly everywhere. So now I have this little eye hook piece that I made myself. You can also buy these in the jewelry making department, usually at most of the craft stores. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I've got some Loctite super glue and I'm just going to put a couple of drops of this glue. It's a squeeze gel down in that hole that was made from the corkscrew and hope that it was somewhat in the center of the cork. Then I'm going to take this piece that I just made and push that down inside. And then that'll set up here in a couple of minutes. And then the next thing that I've got here is I've got this little swivel hook. It's a hook that you can get from the jewelry store. And or excuse me, the fishing store. So this is a fishing lure hook. And I'm going to put that on the bottom, but I need a jump ring to go in between. I have my handy dandy box of jump rings and whatnot. So I'm just going to select one that will be the right size. Don't want one too big. So I've got a little jump ring here. And if you take your pliers and you want to hold one side in place and then push the other away from you. So you want to twist a jump ring when you open it or a split ring. You don't want to pull it apart. You want to twist it. So that's what I've done here. So I've twisted it. It will now fit on here. This will fit on the other side. And then you will twist it back. And if you need the assistance of another tool, just pick up another needle nose pair of pliers and make those match. Okay. So that's the bottom portion of my little cork. And then I just have some leather cord that I'm going to slip through the top. You can use a 
purchase necklace, but I just happen to have this cord. And I'm just going to tie a knot in the other end. And I pulled too tight because my glue has not set up. So I'm going to use a different glue. I've got some Omni stick glue. So I'm just going to take the end of this, stick it in the glue, put the lid back on so I don't make a mess, and then stick that down in the hole. And there is my necklace that I made using a cork and then using the calico collage images. The Fancy, let's see, what is this one? Fairy Forest. That's what these images are. I hope you enjoyed this video of what to do with these little images that are one by two inches from Calico Collage. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below, and if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel. Check out the description box below to get a link to the images in Calico Collage's shop as well as the detail ink from Brutus Monroe. Thanks so much for watching today. You are greatly appreciated. Aspire to be amazing. Bye.